And welcome back to Anchorage, Alaska. Tom Steigelman here with you as we continue on with our coverage of the Alaska Airlines College ID Camp Showcase Games. These games being brought to you by many fine sponsors, including Alaska Airlines, Avis. We also want to say thank you to our friends at the Anchorage City Lofts. And, of course, how could we forget our friends at Subway? So as we get ready to go, this is the final game of the camp. This is the gold flight game between the boys. Team blue on your left, team white on the right as we get ready to roll. Referees out on the field. Here's the way this uh, camp, these camp games, I should say, are set up. We will play two 30-minute halves. If a game ends in a tie, it is a tie. No overtime, no sudden death as we get ready to go. And I'm getting ready to set my clock so I can start it with the referees. Looks like the referee's checking in with the uh, goalkeeper. Over on the left-hand side, White will be kicking off to start this game. Team White out in the middle. Forrest waiting for the word to kick off is number 50, Osman, flanked out there by Tabane. Hopefully I'll be able to say all the names on these rosters correctly. And if I don't, Please forgive me. <laughs> I think the hold up here is a goalkeeper on Team Blue right now. It's Jared Osgood still strapping on his gloves. There's the whistle, and away we go. Clock is rolling in the first half of this final game of the Alaska Airlines College ID Camp Showcase. It's been a great opportunity for these uh, athletes out here to get some coaching from some college level coaches, find out what's going to be expected of them for them to be able to advance to the next level. A good contingent of coaches from all around the nation able to come up here and help out these players, not just on the boy side, but also on the girl side. That one played out there by Adams and Team Blue will retain possession. These teams were selected by the coaches and placed on their roster, so we have a definite mix of schools, a definite mix of communities as well on both of these rosters. So as we've experienced in the other games, and I think what you would be uh, ready to expect is it's gonna take these teams a few minutes just to feel each other out, uh, to get settled in with your teammates before they start making those uh, real solid connecting passes. That one played out over on the far side there by Team Blue's Ogden. Team White will retain possession on this throw in. Ooh, close to a handball over there on the far side and it was caught by the referee. So we've got a free kick coming up here for Team White. Tell you what, it has been such a beautiful day in Anchorage. My arms are sunburned. I'm gonna be feeling that tomorrow. Couldn't ask for a better day for soccer. Let me tell you, it has been beautiful. If you've never had a chance to come out to Kincaid Park to experience a game or play in a game, I definitely suggest you do that. Nice ball in there, headed out by Team Blue. Trying to climb, climb the back there of the Team White player. Team White retains possession, gonna loft it back in again. Now the offsides flag is up. Ren Norwood yelling for Team White to start dropping back. Safely played ball forward by Team Blue, giving that up to Ricard. Ricard still with it, gonna send that outside now to Pepe. He tries to play it forward, taken away by Team White. That one shot right at his own player, gets knocked down. 50-50 ball up in the air, headed forward by Team Blue, still in the air. Now Team Blue gonna settle it down as Stanley's got the ball. Stanley fakes to the left, goes to the right. Oh, nice ball over here, and immediately sent back in by Pepe. Team White on the attack. To Bain with it. Has that taken away? Nice move there and hooked from behind. That'll create a free kick here for Blue and they get it started immediately. And the battle ensues. 
Stanley with the ball, gonna send that now outside. Team Blue switches fields with it this time, giving it out to Lawson. Back over to Stanley. Stanley plays it safely back here to his defender. Haven't seen that guy's number yet because it's not on his back. There it is, 59. He's got one on the front, Loken. So Blue earns themselves their first corner kick of the game. Andrew DePepe gets set up for this one. Low worm burner there, didn't get underneath it, I don't think like he wanted to, but Team Blue is still going to come away with it and they'll flip it back out to him. Oh man, right off the kisser there of Team White's player, that's number 39, Bidwell. He's rubbing the back of his neck, he's going to feel that one in the morning, that's for sure. Throw in by Team Blue here. As you can see, played out once again. Team Blue on the throw in. Going to float one over there to Sanders. Sanders with a shot on the near post and misses. Just a little wide to the right. A little over five minutes into this one. Team Blue with the first solid strike on the ball. Suko lost possession of that one. And Team White comes back with it. Ooh, a nice one touch there trying to force it forward. Team Blue recovers. Buchanan got the ball right now. He'll send it up the field. Going to get that one to on. Reverses himself there. Gives it over to Stanley. It looks like Stanley going to try to pop one through. Dangerous little bounce here and safely played out by Team White. That's number 56, Grayson Adams. Ooh, that was close to a handball there, but play on, say, the referees, and they do. Team White now with the ball. Playing it back to their defenders, now resetting, and up they come with it. Team White on the run, trying to get it all the way to the right outside. They do. Got two players out there, and oh, pass a little bit behind, and Team Blue takes it away. Team Blue now working it back over to Stanley, it looks like, who tries to get it forward to Saunders. Sanders, that is. Tough ball there from Kyle Stone. Ends up going off the white player and out of bounds. Played forward again by Team White. And again, good defense by Team Blue. As they're trying, I think that's going to be the strategy. They're going to try to hit Sanders on these quick pops. At least that's what it seems to have looked like so far. Team Blue earns another throw in as Team White very happy just to get it out of any kind of danger. That's what a good defense does. Stanley with the ball, bringing it over to the right. Oh, just a little bit out of the outstretched legs of Andrew DePepe from Anchorage. Scheduled to graduate in 2017. Spin it inside and taking it out. But Cannon. So that'll be Team White Ball now on the throw in. So they get it into Asman. Now a ball outside coming way out of his goal is Osgood having to play that with his feet. Taken away by now by uh, Beverage. Getting it outside to Tabane. Tabane trying to go inside. He's still got the ball in the penalty area. Trying to feed it back and it gets knocked out. That one going off of Ogden. So that'll set up our first corner kick of the game for Team White. Team White with the ball short one. 
Cobain going to bring it down the line. He's still got it. And a drive and a just a little too high. So another good setup there by Team White. As now, Jared Osgood hiking back there to find the ball behind the signs. And thanks to all of the uh, coaches uh, who took the time to travel to Alaska, although there's a lot of benefit to that. Those of us who live here know that uh, it's not an easy thing to do to travel this far, especially if you've got a family uh, that you're leaving behind at home to, or that you're bringing up here. It's, uh, you know, appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to come up here to help coach these kids and uh, let them know what they need to do to be able to move on successfully to the next level. Playing it back safely on Team White there, number 39, Bidwell, giving it back to goalkeeper Ren Norwood. Kyle Stone trying to send a long one down. Trying to get it down there to Mosier. Not sure if that was Mosier on the far side. Underunga, that's who that was. Bringing the ball over to Royal. Centering pass attempt blocked out by Team Blue, but Team White may end up with this one. Although a lot of pressure coming from on right now. So they're going to play it all the way back to their goalkeeper, Ren Norwood. So he comes outside the box, plays it with his feet. He's going to go back the same direction from where the ball came from, make on, turn around, and go back that way. Team White setting up for a long ball, but not getting a solid strike on that one. Team Blue gets set up for yet another throw in. Trying to flick it through once again. Team White comes away with it. Going to try to feed it across, and they do successfully. Shot! Nice kick save there. And Team White still putting the pressure on. Malcolm Murr with a good opportunity there. Now Team Blue with a chance on the opposite end. As Sanders putting some pressure on the ball. Now Team White going to come back with it. Oh, stretching out, hitting the deck, but getting back up. That was a nice way to show the effort. I'll go off a of blue. That'll be a team white ball coming up. Royal going to send that across. Murr not able to keep it in. That'll be a goal kick. Short goal kick on that one on purpose. And back comes Team Blue with it. The card over there on the far, far side. Getting some pressure. You'll still be a Team Blue throw in. Ooh. I'd like to see that again. That almost looked like to me that was a bad throw. Doesn't matter. Ball's still in. Murr with it. Cobain was calling for it over on the left side. They couldn't get it to him. Sanders oversteps that one. Now it's a foot race. Sanders with the ball, trying to feed it through to on and overshoots him. Ren Norwood comes way out of the box. Or to the far side of the big box over there, as you see. And he's going to punt that one. Nice. Good kick. Probably a good 10 yards past midfield, maybe more. 
but it does sail out, so that'll be a throw in now for Team Blue. Weaving his way through over there, number 53, that's Kyle Stone, before it finally goes out. Wind, as you can hear in my microphone, picking back up out here at Kincaid Park in Anchorage. Nice cool breeze, feeling kind of good on this hot sunny day in Anchorage. Foul called across the way now. Setting up a free kick for Team White. Long ball on the way. Oh, and Murrah couldn't get a good solid head on that. It was nice. He made a good cut to get over there, but Malcolm Murrah just not able to completely connect with it. So Team Blue will set up now for their goal kick. Jared Osgood saw something that made him think better of what he was about to attempt. Now he'll launch it. Good long goal kick like that will help loosen things up and alleviate some stress if you're the defender out there for Team Blue. They'll play it back to Osgood. He's going to have to play this one with his feet. So he'll bring it up. Now Team White going to put some pressure on him. Osgood will play that back off to his left, as you can see on your screen. Team Blue now with it, trying to build on something all the way from the back. Sanders with the ball. That ball taken away by Mosier. Now Team Blue gets possession back of it, and they'll play it back to Osgood once again. So this time he'll try it over on the right-hand side. Going to send that over to Locanan. He gives it back to Suko. That pass picked off now on the foot of Beveridge. Quick turnaround shot, going to go wide to the right. Good idea, though, from Tabane. Knock one down and turn it. Why not? Well, one thing out there about Jared Osgood, not, a play, not afraid to play it with his feet. It's going to be a team blue throw in coming up for us over here on the near side of the field. Team White able to retain possession of it once again. Murr with it, going to leave that one off there for Tabane. Oh, almost. Back comes Team Blue now. Oh, man, there's some bodies. That should be a penalty. Well, maybe not. Apparently, the referee and I disagree. Things starting to get a little bit chippy out here in this uh, sequence that we've got going on. Blue going to settle this ball back down. Reverse direction and take it over to the left now. Oh, they got somebody out there breaking on the left wing. He's on sides. They go down the center instead. On trying to get over there. Can't track it down. Team Blue over on the left hand side. And somebody look, I think that was 21. Got a whistle there and a substitute going to happen for Team Blue. So Kanan, oh, I thought he was going to check out of the game. Instead, they're going to take out to Pepe. So he'll take a break for a little bit. And checking into the game is number five, Justin Boynton. Team Blue back on the attack. Little chip in there, trying to get it to on. Gets knocked away by Team White. 
Back they come with it. Murr has got the ball. And they'll play it back once again to their goalkeeper, Jared Osgood, a man who's not afraid to use his feet. Nice simple play there. Now they'll give it back to Osgood. He'll take a look around. White's giving him the respect that he needs because he does have a pretty solid foot on him. And here we're going to get a look at it. Almost getting that thing to midfield on that one. White back on the attack, though, trying to get it into Murr. Doesn't go there. Now Team Blue. Nice little give-and-go move there. Now to On. On's got the ball. He's going to have to bring it on the inside. Oh, he's going to punch it through. Sanders trying to chase it down. Sanders going to try to feed it across. Can his player get there? Saves it. Oh, off the post. And a clearing done by Team White. Woo, that was close. Team Blue almost had one. Nice little move there by Team White's number 24, Beverage. Trying just to lift one up and over. Now Team White's going to fire one down there. Going to try to let uh, big number 50, Osman, run underneath it. But you know what? Jared Osgood, not afraid to come out of his box even and use his feet and control it and send it out to his players. That one trickle out there to create a goal kick now for Team Blue. Well, I say thank you to our sponsors right here that have made all of these games possible, including Alaska Airlines, Subway, Avis, and many, many more. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Long ball there, playing through to On. On breaks free. It's On. On. Oh, tried to go for the extra dribble, and it gets... Swooped up by Wren Norwood. Way to stick your ground, Wren. Good play there. Foul being called by the referee. I'll give another free kick to Team White. on its way up off the back of their own player and it's collected by Team Blue. Ricard was the one who collected that one as they try to feed it forward. Can't make it happen. Bain now over on the right side with the ball. He's gonna play it back and Team White will reset. Now the defender bringing it forward quickly. Looking for a give and go there as he overlapped. King Pauled off of a couple of players there. And Durunga has it snaked away. Now they're going to pop it outside, trying to get it to Saunders on the right. He was looking behind him as the ball went over his head, unfortunately. He didn't see that initial pass. Still going to end up being a blue throw in as Justin Boynton comes over to take this one for blue. Good little showcase of footwork there from Stanley. Gave it to Boynton, who moved it on across over to Ricard. Ricard now with it. Team Blue still hanging on to possession now. They lose it, and back comes Team White with it. To Bain with the ball, going to try to float one up there to Osman. And it gets cleared and goes out all over on the far side of the field. Battling for it over on the far side. Finally, Team Blue just tries to clear it out. Coming up with possession for it's Adams for Team White. 
Adams going in there again for it. Adams going to crank one. That'll go wide to the right, but nope, Osgood instead stops it with his feet. They're getting very comfortable. Muir knocks that one up almost into the stands. Score still 0-0 in this one. We're starting to wind down into the final minutes of the first half here. Team White back on the attack, trying to get to Mir outside. Team Blue now in control of it, going to flick that forward, give it to Boynton. Boynton going to bring it over to the right, past his player. Boynton still on the run, tries to cut it back inside before it's knocked out by number 39. That's Quinton Bidwell. Boynton gets set for the throw, looking for some help. Now he gets it in. Whoa, almost a dangerous play there by Stanley, but no call from the referee. And there's a big boom and kick. You knew that was going to happen eventually from Team White, hoping to catch Osgood out of the goal, but the ball bounces to him a couple of times, and he's happy to trap it and put it back down to his feet. Osgood playing all the way at the edge of the 18. Now he's got to drop back to Bain with the ball. Oh, nice move. Can he get the shot off, though? No, and a good recovery by Team Blue. Nice play there to get back on defense and break up the point-blank shot. I think that was Stanley that came back and broke up that play. Great play by Talon. Well, that may not have been him. They give credit to the wrong guy, but in any event, that defender back there saved the day for Team Blue. That's Stanley with the ball. He's going to send it forward. To Pepe. Got a couple of players around him. This Team Blue fights to get it back. A little soft ball there. Coming over, showing some good effort. Mosier. Coming all the way across the field. Ball up now to Sanders. Team Blue still moving on. Sanders got the ball back, as you saw there. That's going to go off to number 21. That is a 21. Could be a 51. It's all the way across the field. If it's number 51, it's Daniel Ogden. If it's 21, I don't know who that is. Nope, there's 51. Ogden's back in the back. So the mysterious number 21 out on the field. Hmm. Try to track that down for you at halftime, see if we can figure out who that young man is. Team Blue with it with an opportunity, starting to put itself together. Stanley with it, getting it to Sanders. Had to Pepe with it, trying to flick it in there. And you know, Ren Norwood going to be able to control something like that. Back comes Team Blue once again, giving it to Sanders. Team Blue quickly getting it back in. Boynton with the ball, bringing it up the sidelines. It's poked away, gets it back though. Boynton still with it, looking for some help. Gives it to Stanley. Team 
Peyton White just wants to clear that thing out of there, headed on by Mosier. Now Ogden going to settle it down and send it back up for Team Blue. Team White, now Team Blue. A little back and forth action going on right here in the waiting moments of the first half in this 0-0 game. It's the final game of the Alaska Airlines College ID Camp Showcase. See, the sun starting to become an issue to these players as it's going down. The longer their shadows start to get on the field, the tougher it makes it to see on these high balls for them. Although, watching the shadows of the players on the field is pretty cool. Sanders with the ball, he gets taken down. Team Blue going to play this one all the way back to Jared Osgood. And back comes Team Blue. They'll switch it over to the left side to see what's brewing over there. They give it to Stanley now just about center of the field. Going to go for the long ball, getting it down to Sanders. Finds him. Good ball from Stanley. Sanders thought about cranking it from there. Going to lay it off now. Oh, now Stanley going to have to battle in there for it. It gets pushed up by Team White once again. Here they come with it. Beverage with the ball. Beverage going to send it outside now to, uh, to Bain. To Bain brings it back onto his right foot. Oh, trying to flick it forward there. And that is the way we will go to halftime. Your score is 0-0 at the end of the first half of the Gold Flight Boys game of the Alaska Airlines College ID Camp Showcase. We'll take a quick break, and then we'll be back with second half action right here for you, so don't go anywhere. And welcome back to Anchorage, Alaska. Tom Steigelman here with you as we continue our coverage of the Alaska Airlines College ID Camp Showcase. And we have seen some great soccer today, and uh, this is the final game of the camp and this is the gold flight boys game coming to you right now we're all knotted up at 0-0 teams have switched sides referees are checking their watches and getting ready to get it going as we get ready to move on with the second half 30 more minutes of soccer coming your way as soon as the referee says we can start <laughs> and there's the whistle the clock's rolling and away we go So things started to loosen up towards the end of the first half. A couple of close chances on both sides, but neither team able, able to convert it into a goal. There we still have the unnamed number 21 out on the field. Nice ball, leaving it up on the left-hand side, going over to Sanders. Sanders able to track that one down. Now he'll bring it back out to 21. Nice there to uh, be able to retain possession of it, sending that back out to On. On going to send in a long one now, testing the new goalkeeper in there, and who's able to come up with the save, Poyer. Poyer coming down from the uh, White House Yukon Territory area to be a part of this camp. Glad to have him here, as well as all of the athletes. Just in this game alone, we have Fairbanks, Anchorage, Juneau, Chugach, Eagle River. Let's see, uh, White Horse Yukon, as we just mentioned, and Kenai all represented here on this roster. Actually, two players from the White House Yukon area, or White House, White Horse Yukon area. Team White now on the attack. Nice through ball there to Tabane. Tabane getting into the penalty area. Strikes it in. It's a goal. That goal coming in the 32nd minute by Tabane. So a nice goal there driving it through. Substitute goalkeeper Reed Thomas kind of pulled his hand back almost it looked like there. As that ball goes in, giving Team White the 1-0 lead. Back to action we go, and a long ball being thro put through by Team Blue. Laid out. So it'll be a goal kick coming up now. Team White, who now has that 1-0 advantage. Long ball sent over here to the near side. It's going to one hop it out of bounds. Team Blue gets it back on the throw in. On going to take this one. 
He lobs that into Sanders. Trap down. And the wind is picking up the pace here in Anchortown. Blowing my papers all over my table here. Long shot there as they're testing the goalkeeper, Reed Thomas, once again. That time it was safely out for Reed. Ball back in play, as you can see there on your screen. Coming to the inside now. Oh, Sanders leaves it. Shot on the way. Stanley in a big save from Poyer. Wow. Diving down, snagging it with his left hand and being able to knock it out. Great save there. Retaining the 1-0 lead for Team White. Tough play there, that foul is going to be called. So Team White will get a free kick back in their own half of the field. Osman pushing things forward. Ball deep down into the center. Aisman off his left shoulder. Well, one of his shoulders anyway. In any event, Team White able to retain possession, sending it all the way back to their defenders as the wind is really picking up out here at Kincaid now. It's been a very beautiful day, even with the wind. Still fairly warm breeze as the tent's starting to lift a little bit here. That's not a good thing. But I pushed it back down because I'm a talented guy. Ball back in. Bain with the ball. Working hard over there against Stanley. Now they're forcing it down to the corner where, oh, it's Bain able to keep it in. Stanley comes in, lays down some lumber, and now they're going to have to call that foul. Bain still down on the floor. So we're getting things organized up here in the booth. Never like to see anybody uh, get a little roughed up or pick up an injury in these types of games. But uh, taking the break here, we want to say thank you to our sponsors like Alaska Airlines, Avis, Subway, and Anchorage City Limits Lofts. Free kick coming up here for Team White. Grayson Adams coming over. Take this kick, which is just outside of the penalty area. His ball's on the way. Knocked out. Bodies up in the air. And here comes Team Blue. On with the ball. On still running. He's getting tracked down. Going to able to get it outside. And it gets played back there. And out of danger. Now a shot on the way, tipped up and over. Another good job there by Poyer. The man has been tested since he's been in the goal and he's come through each and every time. Great idea though, I got to give it up to uh, Taylor Stanley also for being aware and seeing he was out a little bit and taking that shot.
Back comes Team White with the ball after winning that one. They send it down the field. Now safely played back. Team White's goalkeeper, and he'll switch directions, getting it outside to on. On going to send the long ball down over to the right side. I think he's trying to get it to Sanders over there. Can't see his number. Nope, that's number five out there, Boynton. Now he gives it to Sanders. Sanders going to bring it. He'll let it go with his left foot. But again, the goalkeeper, Poyer, there. The right place at the right time. And a good kick down. Oh, a little miscommunication there. As Team White trying to head that one on. Go ahead from the referee there and back to action we go. Stanley with the ball, gonna switch it over to the right now. Number 23 there for Team Blue, Larson, or Lawson. Making a little move. Poked away again by Team White, who's up 1-0. Send another long ball down there, going off to the left this time it down to Asman. He's going to chase that one down. He'll have it, but he's going to need some help. they got four defenders back there guarding him, but he's going to take it down the line. Now a nice feed out to the top of the 18. And cleared out once again by Team Blue. Boynton lays that one back for on. They get it back up to Boynton. Now it's poked away. Stanley out there working hard. It's looking like the sweatiest man out there on the field. Long ball up for Blue. Sanders with a nice flick on. And it's going to have to get played safely out there by Team White's number 17, who unfortunately is not on the roster. in my headset. You can certainly hear the wind as it's picking up out here at Kincaid Park right here in beautiful sunny Anchorage, Alaska. But I'll tell you what, we could not have asked for a better day of soccer and better weather for soccer. It has been beautiful and what a beautiful view here from Kincaid Stadium. Never been out here for a match and you know some people who are playing, you need to take some time and come out here and watch them. Team White back on the attack now. They're going to get that outside here to the goal scorer, Tabane. Tabane now bringing it back to the center of the field, sending it up forward. Osman going to send it back to Tabane. Gets flicked outside here. Now Mosier trying to track it down, and back comes Team Blue on the attack with Boynton. Giving it to On. On stops, slows it down. Now he'll take it over to the center of the field before starts to switch sides with it. Bringing it up uh, over there, that's number 49, Suko. On with it now. On's going to pop one from way outside. And that's going to go out and off to the right. Poyer going to get set up for the goal kick here. The man has come up with some big saves back there for Team Blue, let me tell you. He'll feed this one out now to Stone. Kyle Stone going to send it up. Tabane tries to flick it on as it travels out. On now with the ball, getting ready for the throw in. He's going to send it on through. They pass it back now to Ogden. And they give it back to their goalkeeper, Reed Thomas, who continues on with it. Oh, thank you. I 
Nice ball up the right. That'll travel out. Stanley battling through there. And Team White able to clear it out one more time. On settles it down now. Going to lift one over there, trying to get it to Saunders. Boynton dives out of the way to save his life. Get the ball to On. On quickly in with it. They give it right back to him. On taking a look forward. He's going to send one up. To Pepe overshoots him. Tracking it down over on the far side. I believe that's uh, Lukanen. 21 with the ball now. Nice move in there. Gets himself an opening. Has his shot blocked. And Team White able to clean it out and clear it out one more time. Trying to shield the player off the ball. Not able to do that, so they got to play it all the way back to their goalkeeper, Reed Thomas. Back they come. Ogden with it. Ogden doing a good job coming up the field. Got his head up. I'll switch that over to the right now. Lawson with it. Nice feed through, trying to get it to Sanders. Now Lawson's going to have to track it back down. Murr over there as it comes back to Ogden. Ogden now going to switch fields, going to get it over to On over here on the near side. On going to send it up over on the left. Back to On. Nice move there. On very aware of his situations every time he has the ball. Now they're trying to get it up to Saunders. Saunders with it. Oh, can't turn around and get his foot on it. De Pepe in there. He's got a chance. Has his shot blocked. Now coming into Stanley. Stanley makes a turn, cranks it. And there again is Poyer making another save. On gets his head on it. Knocks that over safely to Team Blue members. Tell you what, On's having a pretty good game, in my opinion. Seems to make very intelligent decisions every time the ball's around. My pen just flew off the table here. The wind is going crazy up here at Kincaid Park now. But it's all right, we're having a good time anyway. Here comes Team White back on the attack, feeding it over to the right, trying to get it down to Mosier. Mosier stops, reverses directions. He's gonna try to get it across now. And a one-time attempt there by Murr sails up and out of bounds. That'll be a goal kick. Why we have this break, as the goalkeeper tracks down the ball, it'll give us a chance to say thank you to our sponsors, like Subway and, of course, Alaska Airlines. We also want to say thank you to the Anchorage City Lofts. Goalkeeper is uh, confounded, as you can see over there, maybe on the far side of your screen, lost in the woods searching for a soccer ball. Also, we want to say thank you to Avis. He came up with it. Give the man a hand as he gets back into the stadium here. As we get set back down here, whistle from the referee now to restart things. And we do. Boynton taking it up on the left. Little stutter step move there to create a little time as they try to get it right back to him. A little too hard there off of Saunders' foot, but a good idea between those guys. Now you got to keep in mind in these camps, not all these players know each other. So those little head nods that you'd normally give to a guy that you've played with for years or even by the end of the season where that nonverbal communication becomes so important. Uh, 
know, these guys really just getting to know each other after three days of camp. So those little quick give and go moves are tough to accomplish. But hats off to him for trying to make it work. That's Ogden with the ball now for Team Blue. Oh, punch forward there, nice play. Kyle Stone trying to make some noise. On gets back there on defense. On still battling for it. On not giving up yet. Uh oh, Tabane's back in there. He's going to fire. That should be a corner kick, and it is. Wind has completely switched directions from what it was doing just five minutes ago. Totally blowing the other way out here at Kincaid Park. And one of the nice things out here at Kincaid with a beautiful view of the mountains across the inlet is uh, we're right in path with the Anchorage Airport. So off to our right, we can see all the great airplanes coming in like that one from our sponsor, Alaska Airlines. Another corner kick coming up here for Team White. And now the referee, I guess to Bane in there, rattling people around a little too much. So the referee can step in before anything more exciting than that happens. Ball's on the way. It's still loose. Now a foul is going to be called. So that'll be a free kick for Team White. Gotta wait for it to get outside the penalty area, and they do. Ooh. Team White comes back with it once again. Osman with it, nice move there, bringing it down. And poked away, that'll be good for a corner kick again for Team White. They're starting to apply the pressure they need to here in the latter stages of the game. About 10 minutes left to go, give or take a few. All depends on the referee, of course. Well, it's been great to see these players out here talking to some of the coaches, and everybody has been very impressed. That one headed through and off of Team Blue, creating another corner kick. Everybody's been very impressed impressed with how this camp is run. I've heard nothing but good things about uh, Terry Curran and Maggie Curran and the way they've run things. So thank you very much for that, for caring about Alaska's youth and putting on something like this. This is fantastic. Lobbing it in once again. Oh, that was headed out by Blue. That'll be another corner kick. That'd be some dangerous stuff, guys. Heading that back toward your own goal like that. Goalkeeper. Needs to go to the left a little bit. No, don't go down there. You're too far. Go back to the left. Back to the left. Left. Yep, see? It's like he can almost hear me. Closer to the path. Needs to come up closer. Yep, he's getting close. Oh, getting cold. You're cold, you're cold, you're cold. Come back this way. Walk to us. <laughs> give us a chance once again to thank our sponsors like Alaska Airlines. We also want to say thank you to our good friends over at Avis for doing what they did to help make this tournament possible. Also would like to recognize Subway and our friends at Anchorage City Limit Lofts for everything that they've done to help make these games possible. And this really this whole turn or uh, you know camp. It's been a fantastic thing. I've heard good things from the players. Obviously good things from the coaches that I've already talked about. And we're going to get set up for another corner kick now. Another nice ball in there. And Tabane on the head, and he puts it away. Trying to get back to my clock here so I can write that down in, well, just officially now, the 52nd minute. Tabane scoring in the 32nd minute and the 52nd minute of this one. Two goals for the big man from Anchorage. And Team Blue coming back, going to try to strike back quickly as they send it down the field, and it gets kicked out by Team White. So Blue gets the big throw in across the way. up the left.
left side of the field. They're going to play it back to their goalkeeper. He'll continue it on over here to the near side to On. On going to fire one up now, getting it to Saunders. Saunders getting hit from behind there. Team White fires back down, and guess who? Here comes to Bain working against On, but On is a very good defender back there, as he just showed one more time. Boynton with the ball now. Going to try to feed that one up and through. To Pepe. Can't get to it. Mosier. Now in there scrapping for it along with a couple of other players with white jerseys. On with it. See? Very cool. Very calm. Very collected when he has the ball. Sending that back over. If you'd like more information about Alaska Rush and the soccer club here, just go online. You can Google it. You can find out how you can get your kids involved in all of the programs they have going on. Goal kick on the way here. On now with the ball. Play that forward. whip right here at Kincaid. Advantage given. Play on, says the referee. We got a team blue player. Slow to be moving back there. Are you shaking it off? Lines on the far side. Had a flag up. He's calling a penalty. Well, these weather conditions to deteriorate our audio a little bit, I would guess. Mosier coming up the right side. And it gets forced out. That'll be a goal kick. Good job by screening uh, Mosier off the ball there by Ogden. his situational awareness where that line was, what he needed to do re to retain possession for his team. Of that loose ball, Mosier had it. Boynton now going to touch back to On, giving it to Stanley. Stanley with a nice through ball there. And back comes Team Blue on the attack. And again, coming through on defense, Team White, that time, Underunga. Underridge. Yeah, under Raga. Under Raga. Oh, Team Blue. Nice work there on the outside. They're coming down quick. Locanan slowing things down. Looking for some help now. He's got four Team White players around him. And then a fifth slips in there. Breaks up the play. Nice there by Team Blue being aggressive on the ball. Not sitting back on their heels. No call from the referee. Team Blue still trying to put it together. Pepe going to get it out on the outside. Turns inside. Gets it in. Oh, Saunders needed one more hop on that ball, but it was taken away again by Team White. Beverage been back there getting his foot on the ball several times. Cross in and uh, behind the goal, unfortunately, for Team Blue. That one squirts through all the way back to the back line of the defense. Now Hans got the ball. side. Murr's on the deck. Throw in for blue and they take it right away. 
we wind down here to just the final minutes of this one. Roughly two minutes by my estimation. Maybe three or four though. We had a couple of balls travel far out of bounds and out deep. On, gonna send one in and across. Nice ball. Team Blue trying to still make something happen. Ricard was over there. So they get it back across Saunders, nice. Stanley to Saunders, can he get his foot on it? And no, good defense once again by Team Blue. Oh, almost an own goal. That'll be a corner. As we get down into the final maybe seconds of this game now. Score 2 0 in, in favor of Team White. Both goals coming from Tabane. He had one at 32 and one at 52. Team Blue has got to track this one down in a hurry, and they do. Able to keep it alive. Going to the line. Has that cross knocked back down, and Team White fires it out of bounds. As Team Blue goes up and over the fence to go get that ball. Going back to the back line. Team Blue got to show a little urgency now. Ogden with it. Going to play that one forward to Boynton. Boynton. Oh, nice ball to On. On with it. Going to float it across, but right there. Goalkeeper. Poirier. Poirier. Grabs another one out. Stifles another attempt by Team Blue. Poirier. Had some big saves in this game, big saves. If you're watching with a friend and maybe just coming into this game, you're gonna have to go back to the to the beginning of the second half and watch what that young man did. It was he did some spectacular stuff. Here comes Team Blue, bringing it back down. Ricard with it, giving it over there to Pepe. He's going to get it on his left foot, takes the shot, and another big save! And the follow-up, and it's going to go for Boynton. Boynton picking up the goal in the 61st minute. So in extra time, according to my watch. It's now 2-1 to one in favor of Team White. Team Blue needs to get back and get this game restarted and get another chance. But man, another huge save from Poyer on the first shot and just couldn't take control of the follow-up. Here comes Tobane, he's got two, and he's on another run. Hasn't knocked away. Beverage with it, gonna flick one up to Bain. Coming out to grab that one in a hurry is the goalkeeper, Reed Thomas. Thomas now, gonna give it back up to Boynton, who just scored that goal, Boynton. Giving it back to On. On, oh, has it taken away this time from by Beverage. Beverage now gonna try to launch one in, trying to catch Reed off his line, but doesn't. Good positioning by Reed, and back comes Team Blue. Here comes Team Blue with another chance. They've gotta get it soon if they wanna tie this game. It, this may be their last chance. Getting it up to DePepe. Oh man, how'd they get that wide open? Goal! Taylor Stanley! Getting the goal again. Team Blue coming through. Oh my goodness. Officially, you have to call that the 53rd minute. 63rd minute, unbelievable. Two goals in extra time. Crazy stuff going on here in this game. Now Team White wants to go down there and finish this thing off, a game that I thought they had won just two minutes ago. Now all of a sudden it's tied. Crazy, here comes Team White and they've got a chance, Beverage on it, has it knocked away by Boynton. Here comes Boynton. And that is the game and that's the way it's gonna end with a 2-2 tie. What a finish and what a way to wrap up the Alaska Airlines College ID Camp Showcase. Thanks again to all of our sponsors and everybody who has made 
this camp a success. For everybody behind the scenes, I'm Tom Steigelman. We'll see you next time.